Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes and starting your day in Scripture. Today I want us to move on to Genesis chapter 7. And the time has come for the flood to begin. So God meets with and speaks with Noah. And this is what it says in verse 1 of chapter 7. Then the Lord said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and all your household, because I've seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. When the whole world was a world full of people whose every thought and imagination was only evil continually, Noah was perfect and upright in his generation. Noah was a righteous man before God in his generation, and so God spared him from the destruction that he had for the whole world. It's reminiscent to me of what was happening in the days of Habakkuk. Habakkuk bitterly complained in chapter 1 that God wasn't doing anything and everybody was wicked. And God said, no, I'm doing something. I'm bringing the Chaldeans. You would know them as the Babylonians. They're going to come and destroy this nation. And then Habakkuk said, surely you don't mean that. They're worse than we are. You can't mean that. And God says, yes, I do. But then he said something really remarkable in chapter 2. He said, but the righteous will live by faith. It doesn't mean that faith is the common characteristic of all righteous people, although that is true. But what he's telling you is that the righteous will survive because they trust God. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. If you and I will continue to believe and act on that faith in our generation, then guess what? There's preservation for us. Whether it's physical preservation, I don't know. But I do know that it will be eternal preservation. The life that God has in store for you, no one can take it away. And the life that you have committed into the hands of God, no one is able to snatch them out of God's hands. Look at John chapter 10, verses 27 through 29. The fact of the matter is, you hold on to God no matter what the rest of the world is doing, and he saves you. Thanks for watching.